kick you like custom grammar. And right I feel now. like you should. Okay. You feel like I should. I'm yeah. all here for it and I've got your back. I just told her she was a liar and she was insincere. That's why I took a book. Yeah, I haven't said too yeah, much. Yeah, so on like the just topic, before but... I left. Oh, it's not my place to say that. No, no, you know no, I mean? no. I just think the girls have seen like a big change. Well, I guess with friends like Olivia who needs enemies, the fact that she sat there and heard Martin say he wanted to kick off and didn't sort of try and pacify him or didn't alert Tanya of what was to happen, I don't get it. Tanya and Martin, that was unnecessary, really unnecessary. I don't know why Martin felt the need to to do all that because when he came in with Tanya, Shaq was very civil and even took him aside and had a conversation with him. So I don't know why he felt the need to kick off. Anyway, hey there, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Valerie. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Um, In this episode, I'll be reviewing Love Island season 9 episode 37 so the episode opens up with um Shaq and Tanya you know just in their own little world celebrating reuniting and Shaq being very appreciative of the fact that Tanya apologized for her behavior um Martin is by the fire pit with Maxwell and Olivia and this is the first time we hear Maxwell Maxwell is not a good friend as far as I'm concerned because I know Martin Martin was in his feelings, but Maxwell is not a good friend. How can he in, encourage and um, sort of instigate Martin kicking off? And I don't know what he thought they would achieve because he said to Martin, oh, uh, Martin was saying, I feel like causing trouble. And he's like, yeah, um, I, I'm behind you. Uh, yeah, I think you should. I think you should. And it's like causing trouble for what? The way Martin got into the villa was by bad-mouthing Shaq. I've said this countless times, saying your relationship is not that strong, it's not this, he's not the one for you, you came into the villa, I feel you're a player, I feel you're this. So he knew what who Sha uh, Tanya was when it suited him, and he was happy with that. They came back to the villa, Shaq sat him down and said, no bad blood, and he said, oh, you know, she wants to explore a new connection. It didn't work out for him. And suddenly he's kicking off around the villa. He's calling Tanya to sit down by the fire pit, calling her a liar. Oh, you led me on. You knew what you were putting yourself in for. And now that it's exploded in your face, you're kicking a strop. You're shouting all over the villa to anyone with ears to hear. She's a liar. She manipulated me. She did that and the other. You knew from what you watched that Tanya and Shaq were close. They had an issue, but they were still close. And the fact that you thought you could turn Tanya's head and it didn't work, that's not reason for you to suddenly start kicking off and shouting. And the fact that you said you'd kick off and Maxwell was nowhere to help him doesn't make sense when Maxwell and Olivia were encouraging him to, to make a fool of himself. I don't get it. Yes, Tanya was wrong for bringing him back to the villa and she was wrong for sort of playing with him. I said this when when he started sort of moving towards Tanya and Kasamo that Tanya is, is going to play him the same way she played David and look what's happened and now he's crying, oh, poor me, poor me. For what? Even to go up to Shaq and say, you know, I have no bad blood with you. Um, Tanya, can I speak to you? And it's like, why would you have bad blood with Shaq? Shaq has not done anything. Shaq did not come to kiss Tanya. Shaq has given new people time to form a, con a bond and to build on your connection. So why would you have beef with him? He knew he didn't want smoke from Shaq, but he decided to make a big deal about his connection with Tanya. That way when he leaves the villa, this is all he'll be asked about. Casey, um, Tom, Sammy and... Claudia are on the terrace. They're busy watching instead of commentating because I think everybody dispersed and they were curious. I think they wanted to see what was going to happen between Shaq and Martin and whether they felt there was it's going to be an all out war and they decided to run away out, you know, to be out of arm's reach. Um, and Casey was saying, oh, you know, it's not Martin's fault. I feel sorry for him because he was brought here and you were sort of put in between Tanya and whatever's relationship. And it's like, what did you do to Cynthia? You liked Cynthia. The only difference is Tanya had the guts to bring Martin to the villa. You did not have the guts to, to bring Cynthia into the villa. Because had you brought Cynthia into the villa, you would be in the same position. So don't try to make it seem like you are an angel. You're also just as guilty as Tanya is. So please sit somewhere down. And Tom is guilty as well because he led Lydia on. So please, can the two of you shut up? And I think Martin didn't want any smoke from, from Shaq because... 
when they sat down, he was very well behaved. And the fact that he tried to be petty, like Olivia, and said, if you want to know anything, ask me. And Tanya, and Shaq said, no, I'll, I'll listen to Tanya and hear because there's always two sides to the story. Tanya, Shaq has behaved very maturely in all of this. And I, I have to give him credit for that. He has been very mature. And given the fact that Martin is one of the older guys, I'm surprised with the way he's behaved. I didn't like it at all. I wish he had watched Deji last season. Deji just minded his own business when when india went back to dummy and didn't cause all this mayhem you're a liar no he just sat there minded his own business and ate popcorn and watched movie night so everyone gets ready for the night and it's interesting that uh, tanya decides I, I i could see it coming that she wasn't going to share the same bed with martin given everything that had happened so tanya and Shaq sleep outside everybody else sleeps inside i know the guys did try to cheer martin before they went to sleep in the morning you can tell he's still grumpy he's bitter and it's in i don't get why he's so bitter because he knew what he was signing up for so what did he expect during debrief, Jesse and Will are still happy about the connection. They feel they're doing great. Everyone is on cloud nine because of the party with the DJ the night before. Um, and Olivia, surprisingly, is sitting there facing Tanya and ha doesn't have the guts to say she knew that Martin was going to kick off before he kicked off. Um, obviously, people have opinions about what Tanya did. Tommy's not happy with it because he feels, um, you know, Tanya should have told martin first olivia is sitting there saying as your friend you need to apologize to martin and it's like well as a friend you should have told her martin was coming to kick off so and the fact that you feel the need for tanya to apologize to martin but you don't have the guts to apologize to kai given the way you've dragged him not once not twice since you've come back from kasama with maxwell doesn't make sense and it, i like the fact that maxwell is saying that you know he's not closed off so if anyone wants to talk to him they're free to talk to him but it would take a lot for them to turn his head and it's like nah he doesn't like olivia he's just waiting for a bombshell and then he's going to leave olivia and i can see that coming i don't get why martin is behaving this way so tanya pulls him for a chat on the advice of of, of obviously olivia and during their chat, he, she apologizes for not telling him about the case. And he's upset that, why didn't you tell me earlier that you wanted to go back to Shaq? She's telling you she was processing it. You you knew. You're not blind. You could tell she wasn't really that into you from the moment you came back. What? You're waiting for her to say so. Why didn't you start pulling the other girls and having chats with them? I said this before, she was playing him and she was waiting for a recoupling that never came. And when the recoupling didn't come, she ended up realizing that she had to do something to stop this because I think she was now fed up of him constantly asking her. Um, that's why she did it. So Casey and Tom are talking and to Casey's complaining about Claudia, I think saying to him that if he had recoupled with someone, then that would be us done. And yet when he goes to Claudia, he's like, oh, we're doing great, but I would be open to you getting to know someone else. And it's like, I think he's realized his mistake. I think he's realized his mistake recoupling with Claudia. He did not have stuck to Claudia when it came after Casa Amor, because I don't think they have as much in common as he thought he did have with her. And I don't think he really is into her as he's saying, because if he was into her, why would he be encouraging her to get to know somebody else if somebody else walked in? It tells me that he's not into her and he is hoping to meet somebody else. And so he's sort of setting her up that if a bombshell comes in, he's going to get to know the bombshell and he's going to leave her. I said this, he had a stronger connection with Cynthia. He chose to go with, Cla with Claudia and look where they are. Will and um, Jesse are busy talking you know about working on the outside him being done at clubbing um i think they're cute i've always said i don't mind them i just worry that she is not as into him as he is into her that's just my biggest worry for will but i don't know we'll see how that plays out the shade in the villa is bad so they're um you know everyone is busy chatting in their couples tanya is obviously back with shag and then olivia receives a text message to say that you know they're going to be playing a game in couples whereby they you know knowing me knowing you <laughs> so everyone decides to go into their couple so that they can prep and martin comes across to get tanya and it's just like oh my god it's so awkward it's so awkward he made things awkward he made things awkward the way he behaved made things awkward because i remember last season deji um dami and india would sit there and they would talk for 
for forever and they were mates and they were joking and stuff and so martin made things awkward and when they were asking each other he's asked what's your ick and he goes people that lie and it's like okay you've already said that what's next so Shaq, because he's not in a couple is the host of the game and everybody gets to sit and sort of the girls sit on their own the boys on their own and Shaq asks the questions Oh my god, during the game, <laughs> the shade, the shade. You could tell Tanya and Martin weren't listening to one another because of the responses that they gave. And Shaq was very happy every time they got one wrong because, you know, it showed him that they were not as compatible as they thought. And people were shady, saying Martin, you know, is the one they trust the least. And it's like, Maxwell and Martin have been in the same time, you know, You've known them the same amount of time. Why do you trust Maxwell more than you trust Martin? I think it's because of Shaq. I think they didn't like the way he behaved with the whole Shaq in his scenario and the fact that the way he kicked off when Tanya turned him down. I think this is why. I don't get why Jesse was upset that the guys didn't say that she and Will were compatible. Uh, she felt that maybe they saw something with him and Layla. That's why they felt that Jesse and Will were not compatible. And it's like do you like will for himself or do you like him because it's an opportunity for you to win make it make sense i didn't get that bad sammy and tom won which was to be expected and i was surprised that um you know at some of the responses so everyone gets ready for the evening claudia is complaining oh my god i feel like um casey would have been with lana if i hadn't been here the way he kept talking about and it's like casey and lana's connection wasn't that strong and so I don't get why you're being upset. And it's not that big of a deal. It's only been a week that you've known each other and he's already told you. Uh, so once after Shaq has made the toast and everybody goes to their couples, you have Olivia Maxwell, um, Sammy and Tom gossiping about the other islanders. I hope this is all played out. I hope this is all played out. Because Olivia is out for Kai's blood and will say and do anything to get at Kai. Or the girls can see that he's changed so him changing is that is that a bad thing is that a bad thing him changing shows that maybe he's got a stronger connection with sana than he had with you and why is it so upsetting for you that he's not paying you any attention why not focus on maxwell as he told you and i didn't like the comments about casey i wish they could have talked about anything else i wish they could have talked about anything else instead of the other islanders and i hope on movie night they do show this conversation of olivia badmouthing all the other islanders Jess is making a big deal out of nothing. I don't know why she needs validation from the guys to say that her connection with Will is the strongest. If she feels it and he feels it, that's what's important. Everything else doesn't matter. And so I don't get why she's still going on. Oh, the guys before Casa were sort of cheering us on. Now it seems everybody's just looking at us sideways. And it's like, maybe it's because they are wondering why you're making such a big deal of the whole incident with with will after all will broke it off with layla well before all the guy, other guys the all, all the other guys broke up at recoupling whereas will actually told layla that he and her were, were done so they don't understand why you're kicking off so much so casey goes to the fire pit with martin and maxwell and tom and uh claudia's with the girls and so i don't get why it's such a big deal I don't get why Claudia is making such a big deal about Casey and Lana when they broke up. Her big deal should have been that Casey liked Cynthia and Casey actually apologized to Cynthia once he, he chose to stick with Claudia. And so to me, it makes me question that why is she more offended or why is she more concerned about one relationship as compared to the other? Is it because she doesn't value Cynthia and Casey's connection and she puts more value on Lana although Lana is with Ron and Casey hasn't done anything bar from bring up Lana's name in the, in the challenge to show that he's still interested in Lana I I I didn't get that bit I didn't get that bit and I'm a bit surprised and so we'll see how that plays out but I think Claudia is just looking for something to be upset about I don't think it's that much of a big deal that Casey brought up Lana's name and I don't think either one casey or lana has any feelings or has any intention of exploring whatever they had before lana broke up with him but anyway it is what it is thanks guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye everyone